Oh yeah. I like how that turned out. See? What a... What's up YouTube? Crafted Cars are happy Tuesday. Now in today's video, we're going to be installing a custom grill on this bumper here. Now this is the bumper off my Civic. It's not the OEM one, it's an aftermarket one that I had paint matched to the car. And unfortunately, it did not come with a grill, so we're going to change that today. So we're going to be making our grill today out of this wire mesh that I bought on Amazon. Um, I think it's specifically made for automotive grills. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But it is 40 inches by 13 inches, and I picked the rhombus style pattern. And each of these rhombuses is, I think, 6 by 12 millimeters. So it's a pretty tight weave, but that's kind of what I wanted because um, I want to protect the intercooler, but also have a tight enough weave where it kind of hid the intercooler at the same time. That's hiding behind the bumper and everything, so it should be a pretty clean look, and yeah, I'll show you exactly how we're going to install it today. Now when we flip the bumper around and take a closer look, you can see that we got these tabs here on the top and the bottom of this big opening. And those are usually meant so you can screw something into them, um, but this happens to be like a really hard, uh, this is ABS plastic and it's pretty thick. Um, so the little baby screws that I had that would fit in here aren't actually like sharp enough without pre-drilling holes and I didn't really want to go through all that. So what I'm actually going to be doing is making my own holes. I'm going to be drilling holes through these little raised tabs and I'm going to end up using zip ties. So just for an example, I already drilled out one of the tabs. I just used my Dremel tool here to kind of grind away at the front all the way through the back of the tab, leaving the top intact. And what that'll allow us to do is to slip a zip tie through there. And then once we have our mesh held up, the zip tie will go through the mesh as well, securing it tightly to the bumper. So now I'm going to do the same exact thing to the rest of these tabs. With safety glasses, of course. So now that every single one of these tabs has a zip tie ran through it, I'm ready to get my mesh here ready for install. Now, when it comes packaged, it's all rolled up like this, so I gotta kinda carefully unfold it. I suppose unroll it, like so. That's probably gonna fight me a little bit. That strategy seems to work pretty good. There, much better. So I'm gonna lay this here, slide the zip ties through it, and yeah, hopefully we can pull it nice and close and make it look good. All right, so now that I got the wire grill laid out exactly how I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Dremel tool again, switch it out for a cutting disc, and then go ahead and cut off all the excess, probably going about one inch outside of the opening.
All right, so there we have all the excess cut off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these zip ties. I went and as I was kind of cutting off the excess, I made sure to tighten down the zip ties as I went just so uh, it all tightened down nice and evenly. Kind of fold the rest of the mesh over the sides here. I was a little worried about having gaps on the side, but that aluminum really folds around there nicely. So I suppose that's one benefit over getting a plastic grill is getting an aluminum grill. But uh, yeah, that's about it. This is gonna be the first time I take a look at the other side to see if it looks like trash, or see if it looks good. A lot of shavings in there. Oh damn. That looks pretty good to me. how that turned out. See? What a... Alright. Yeah, sometimes you see it where they look like really wavy or uh, just kind of cheap and just like cheap little chicken wire, but this turned out really nice. Seems nice and smooth. Yeah, I like that. So now I think I'll take it and go test fit it on the car. But one thing it'll for sure do is protect the intercooler and the radiator from rocks uh, while still allowing airflow. So that's kind of the whole point. But yeah, I think overall, or I think it only cost me like $17. Not a bad modification. Looks a lot better than just a big gaping hole there. So I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, would do again. Would recommend to a friend. So. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in to Crafting Cars. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, we post videos every Tuesday and Friday, so stay tuned. Bye!